Hello everyone, welcome to the teaching show. I am Dr. Poonam Nigam and in this course on process calculation, today we are going to study uh, recycle with a reaction and we are going to solve this recycle problem using extent of reaction method. Last video we had solved a recycle problem which was much simpler than this and we used atomic species balance and molecular species balance. Now in this problem we are going to solve it using extent of reaction method. So let's get started. This is a problem from Himmelblau. Um, so I've started this problem on the board. The reaction which is given is your uh, Benzene, it is hydrogenated to give you cyclohexane. I am marking zeta as my extent of reaction. Now, uh, the things which have been given in this problem, you have a reactor, you have the fresh feed which is going in. It contains only benzene and hydrogen. Okay, And uh, overall conversion is given as 95%. Your single pass conversion is 20%. And what is given further is that Whatever is the recycle stream, it has a composition. Its composition is given. That is the mole fraction of benzene and hydrogen are given in this problem. Okay. Now, to start this problem, uh, I told you, you have to first choose a basis. Now, in this case, you, can, you have option of two streams which you can choose as basis. First is the feed which you can choose as the basis. Or you can also use a recycle stream as basis. Why I am saying that? I asked you... Uh, whatever stream which uh, for which you have been given the composition you can choose that as your basis so you know the composition of the recycle stream you can choose it as a basis but in this pro while solving this problem i'm taking right now the basis as the amount of uh, benzene which is going in so i'm choosing basis as 100 moles of benzene okay uh, so my first step is over i am going to take 100 moles of benzene as my basis Second step is to I have fully I have to fully label my flow chart. That's what I have done it for you. I'm saying okay. So n1 moles of benzene that is 100 moles it is going in. N2 moles of hydrogen they are in 20% excess. Okay. Now in the product stream you have all the three components which are coming out. Uh, you have the product plus the unreacted component. So I'm labeling it n3, n4, n5 of the respective molar flow rates. Okay. Now the uh, product stream which is coming out from the reactor, it again also contains all the three components. So I am labeling it as N7, N8 and N9 for the benzene, hydrogen and cyclohexane respectively. Okay. And N6 I have labeled as the recycle stream. Okay. Now let's start solving the problem. So I have been given three process specifications. First, the overall conversion is 95%. Second, conversion per pass is 20% and third is that hydrogen is used 20% in excess. Okay, so uh, let's first take degree of freedom on the overall system. I have told you that usually the recycle problems they are set in such a way that the degree of freedom on the overall system usually it comes out to be zero. So let's check that and also we are going to check it using the extent of reaction method. So my degree of freedom that will be equal to Okay, how many variables do I have? N2, N3, N4, N5. So I have four variables. How many reactions I have? One. How many reacting species are there? Three. So minus three. Okay. And then how many process specifications I have? One is this 20% excess of hydrogen and one is the 95% conversion of my benzene. So I have two process specifications. So my overall degree of freedom, it comes out to be zero. Okay. Now in solving any problem, I told you, first of all, make, try to make use of your process specification. So that's what we are going to do. Hydrogen is in 20% excess. Okay. So if I want to find out uh, percent excess, that is equal to amount which is spread, that is N2 minus the amount which is stoichiometrically required. 1 mole requires 3 mole, so 100 moles will require 300 moles of hydrogen. So you have N2 minus 300 divided by the stoichiometric amount multiplied by 100 and that should be equal to 20. If I solve this, I directly get N2 which is equal to 360 moles. Okay. Now I am going to use my second process specification and what is that? You have overall conversion of benzene which is 95. So I have my overall conversion of benzene is 
95.95 okay so the amount which is unreacted fine that will be 5% okay so if this is my f then my 1 minus f is equal to 0 0.05 okay so the amount which is unreacted is coming out as n3 fine so my n3 will be equal to 1 minus f times what is fed that is 100 or 100 into 0.05 that comes out to be 5 moles. So I have my benzene which is coming out that is equal to 5 moles. Okay. So I have got two values. I have got N2 that is 360 moles. And I have my unreacted benzene which is coming out that is 5 moles. Now I am going to write down my equations in terms of extent of reaction in order to get the other two variables. Okay. So I have uh, three more equations which are left. Let's write down those. Okay. So N3 that is the final amount, final number of moles that should be equal to the initial number of moles. What are the initial number of moles of benzene? That is 100. Okay. 100 stoichiometric coefficient is minus 1 times zeta and that is equal to your 5. So from here I get the value of zeta as 95 moles. Okay. Then I am going to write what is N4. How much is fed? N2 that is 360 minus stoichiometric coefficient is minus 3. So minus 3 times zeta. Okay. Zeta I know it is 95. So 360 minus 3 times 95 and it comes out to be 75 moles for hydrogen. Okay. Similarly I am going to find out N5. How much is going in? Nothing. And the stoichiometric coefficient is plus 1. So I have only zeta. So N5 is equal to 9 zeta that is 95 moles. Okay. So I have got these four uh, values now. Okay. So I am going to update it. N4 is equal to 75 moles. And N5 is equal to 95 moles. Okay. So I have taken the overall balance. I got the values of four unknowns. Now let's see how to proceed. If I take uh, my balance on separator. Okay. How many unknowns do I have? 1, 2, 3 and 4. I have four unknowns. How many equations do I have? I have only three independent, uh, see molecular species balance if I try, I have only three species balance. So the degree of freedom is one, okay. So I cannot solve on the separator. But one thing I can get from this, okay, just by looking at the problem, your product uh, CCSH12, it is coming out only in this stream, okay. It is not coming out in this stream, fine. So if I take C6H12 balance, I directly get that my N9 will be equal to my N5. So, I get to know the value of at least one of the flow rates by taking your balance of the separator. So, I have used that over here. Okay. Now, if I take my um, degree of freedom on reactor, again how many unknowns I have now? N7, N8 and what else? Your N6. Uh, no, not N6. Uh, this is the combined stream. I don't know the composition. I don't know the flow rate. So, uh, Degree of freedom is definitely not zero over there. Okay. So similarly if you check in the mixing point you cannot solve over there also. So how what to do now? What we will do is that we will now combine uh, this mixing point along with this reactor and take a balance on that. So let's now choose our system like this. Okay. So I am going to take balance now on this system combined and Let's do first the degree of freedom analysis for that. Okay, for this combined system of mixing point plus reactor. How many streams are going in? This is one stream and this recycle stream is the second stream which are going in. And this is the stream which is coming out. Okay, so let's say degree of freedom. How many unknowns I have? N7, N8 and N6. There are three unknowns. Okay, and plus I have uh, one reaction which is taking place. So plus one. Okay, how many reactive species are there? 3. So it will be minus 3. And how many process specifications I have? 20% conversion. So I have one process specification. So my degree of freedom is 
0. Okay, I can solve on this and get the value of N6. That is what we want to calculate the recycle ratio. Fine. So let's do that. So I'm going to write this equation in terms of again zeta. Let's write down. So I have N7 which is coming out that should be equal to the number of moles. Initial number of moles that is equal to the number of moles of benzene which are going in. How many number of moles of benzene are going in? That is 100 plus 0.2274 times N6. That is the number of moles initially which are going in. Okay. Now again it is minus times zeta. Fine. This is the equation. Now I write for N8. That is hydrogen. How much is going in? That is the initial number of moles. So that is 360 plus 0.7726 N6 minus 3 times zeta. Now I write for N9. N9 is equal to nothing is going in. Only it is coming out. So it will be equal to zeta. And that is equal to 95. So you observe zeta, the value of zeta it remains the same. It is 95 moles. Okay. There is no need to calculate it actually. Zeta should be fixed for this. Uh, we have already calculated it in the overall balance. So it will remain the same. Okay. So zeta is again 95 moles. Now even if I put the value of zeta, I have these two equations in three unknowns that is N7, N8 and N6. So I will now make use of my process specification that is 20% conversion per pass. Okay. If there is 20% conversion per pass, that means okay I have to base first of all on the limiting reactant which is benzene. So N7 is the amount of benzene which is coming out. If 20% conversion is taking place, place then 80% of will, it will be unconverted and it will be coming out in the stream. So this should be basically N7 it should be equal to 80% or 0 0.8 times of what is being fed and what is being fed is nothing but addition of these two streams which are going in and it is equal to 100 plus 0.2274 times N6. Okay. So now uh, I have now zeta I know. So if I just take this equation, it is only one variable which is N6. I can use this equation to calculate N6 and if I do that, it gives me a value of N6 as 1649 moles. So I have got the value of the recycle stream. I have to find the recycle ratio. What it will be? So my recycle ratio is basically the recycle stream flow rate uh, N6 divided by your fresh feed. Fresh feed is 360 plus 100. So it is 460 moles. So N6 if I just put the value and divide it, I get the recycle ratio as 3.58. Okay. I have solved this problem. Only this much was asked. If they also ask you what is the composition of the stream which is coming out of the reactor. Okay. Then what you can do is solve the, this equation and this equation for N7 and N8 and put the value. So I will just give you the value. You can go and solve it on your own and um, check whether you get the same value. So N7 is 380 moles and your N8 is 1349 moles. Okay. So this solves the problem completely. I hope you understood it. And uh, in upcoming videos, I will be taking more problems on recycle and uh, purge. So keep watching. And if you find this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much.